Da -da -da, season 1, episode 4. Return to Granny's Tunnel. Episode 4! No Something Baba. Yes. You're such a faker. We both such a manipulator. This is me making a big deal out of a whole nothing in the first five seconds of a show again, but this is something that means a lot to me. I've learned very concretely from experience. If I'm ever in a situation where I am afraid to enter something or go to something, and I'm either hesitating to go in, or I want to send someone in first, or like walk ahead of me or whatever, to mitigate the fallout that I'm expecting, to use that as a crutch for my fear, it's always better to just go in immediately and first. It's such a weak feeling to acquiesce to your fears and let someone do the, the lifting for you, and then watch them succeed at it. And no, you could have just done that. It wouldn't have been a big deal. And you've missed a chance to practice something really important. The more you face simple things like that, the easier they become. So you've missed a chance at leveling up. And what's worse, it's possible you're leveling down because you're practicing capitulating to your fears. But we're going in together. Hey, you're behind me now. Or not. So what are we supposed to do when Turbo Granny shows anyway? Punch her? No. Run, right? We have to lure her out of Shono City no. and get her away from the bound spirit in here. That way she'll be weak enough for us to beat her. Oh yeah. What is the city doing with this tunnel? It, you know, they're just afraid of Turbo Granny? Have they all lost their wieners? He's a little old bitty, not some ginormous alien. Whoops. Wow, well, it's very Attack on Titan. Very Connie's mom. <laughs> if she were a titan and not still alive. I wonder whatever happened to Connie's mom. Give me those. I got this. She's immediately using weapons. Wow. She yeah. ate bats with her eyes. Okay. Let me take a crack at her, Miss Yeah, take a crack at it. <laughs> Ken Takaraka. Damn, she's huge. Right. For real, yo. About your downer power. He's become a Western show protagonist. So troubled. He's a sad boy. That's how you know he's cool. He's just dark. You know, he's dark. He has a tortured soul and he's deep. That's how you know it's deep. It's just deep. He's got problems. He's got so many problems, but you know, he's a nice guy. So you love him, but like, man, sad. And just no one can understand like how sad it is. It's just sad. And if you're not convinced, he also has a drug problem. So relatable. I'm just like you, man. I'm sad. I'm an asshole. I got a drug problem. That's why I'm likable. My most special trait is I have flaws. And sometimes I'm really nice, but most of the time I'm a jerk because people just don't get me, you know? They can't understand pain this deep or drug problems this severe. What's going on? Uh oh. I, I can't see it anymore. Did grandma just eat it back? Oh, so it's a win. Good. Oh, the, yeah, okay. But we have our dong back. That's all that matters. We can handle the rest from here. She thinks she's the fastest thing around. And if you challenge her... Don't you want to beat me in a race? Without batting an eye. What, are you too good to race me? You scared to race? <laughs> Jumping on us is so passe. Anyone can do that. What is Turbo Granny's backstory? Finally, a demon backstory I'm interested in. Like in her real life, she was just like racing for weenies. We'll start running and you count 10 minutes. 10 minutes, damn, that's generous, but okay. That's gonna be a panicked 10 minutes for them. Stand people who break the rules. We got that in common. That's three people now have said that. Momo said it, Momo's granny said it, and Turbo Granny said it. Cheaters and rule breakers. At least she's slow counting. She just started at 30 minutes or an hour just for the hell of it. Minutes, eight minutes. What, what is she doing? She's counting in minutes? <laughs> I don't think she understands the concept of time. Time units. Those are not standard minutes. This is not going well. And Ogren has no powers. The little girl is ten minutes. No, you cheated! Oh, Ken Takarag is gonna sacrifice his Winnie once again for Momo. Who said you'd follow the rules? No one said how to count four God. minutes. Oh, God. Five minutes. We got a relativist. Ten minutes. Now. No running was had in this race. If you're a dork, and next time, I'll probably have to save you then, too. <laughs> no, this is your moment, yeah. your dates! <laughs> Take over the team. That is not suckling, but okay. Wow, we have been to the depths in this adventure, and it's only episode four. That was actually pretty smart of Turbo Granny. Even though I can't see you, that's your true form, Turbo Granny, and now I get it. I can feel you. Is she doing this without seeing? She used to force Luke. <laughs> nice. That's great. She used it to break free. It's highly tactical, like way more than I thought. I thought it was gonna be just like running. What the hell are what are you? Why is there a crab? 
I'm so lost. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, dun 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 indeed. What the hell is happening? Why is there a crab? Huge day for Kenta Karaka. He got his dong back and he got his first teeth suckling. And I gotta say also, Momo is crazy smart. The way she figures out these plans in split seconds. Ken at least hanging in there because of his boldness and his desire, you know? Like, he can see there's more. Momo in that sense seems so good for him because with, like, the companionship and friendship obstacle out of the way, if he can accept it, he has someone really cool in his life where he can finally actually find out who he is. It's like all he needed was the most basic of simple needs needs and a challenge and he immediately starts to transform. Trying to imagine their growth trajectory is really interesting and exciting. I've been thinking recently because one of my best friends is visiting Korea. It's weird how like you, you don't notice changes in yourself. You don't notice there's like a gradual drift in your personality and overall outlook until you reconnect with somebody who may have been central to your development or your outlook or your grounding that often comes from your social circle. Just spending some quality time with my friend was kind of shocking how like a lot of things that were not that important kind of fell to the wayside and what it did for my spirits. It's weird how people are kind of pillars or anchors or gravity centers of our personality. Some of the, the elements of our personality are algorithmic in that you are what you are, but then that is pulled or stretched or formed or shaped by like the things around you. Not just your friends, but your just home environment, where you live, what kind of things you see on a daily basis. I mean, I want to think I'm just this like autonomous agent that does everything great myself, but I think I need external or objective anchors, if I'm being honest. In that light, it's, it's like immediately obvious why Momo is such a strong pillar or force for Ken Takaraka. One intriguing thing about it is that it seems like Momo now is the one who sort of is that character for Ken, but undoubtedly because the relationship is this interesting and it's dynamic that Ken also has something like that for Momo. Maybe it's courage, I don't know, but it'll be really cool to see that sort of even out. They'll probably take turns. And I think that's the ideal of a relationship when you're both moving forward and kind of slingshotting each other's gravity. Okay, all right. Yes, why? We've learned from other shows that crabs are the ultimate species. It's the apex of the animal kingdom. Holy crap! <laughs> That's the like, most horrifying thing. Whoa. There you go, there you go. Wait a minute, I think I know her voice actor. Her voice actor is, uh, speaking of FLCL, it's Naoto, Naoto-kun, isn't it? It was the complaining that made it obvious. Can't make the curve, you're too heavy. You're it's a real drag, yo. I guess we're going over the mountain. You know, couldn't just slow down or whatever. Had to go through the barrier. Oh, you okay? I'm flattered. Thanks for letting me land on you. <laughs> Sucks you can only go all out twice, but at least you bought us some. Oh, there, there's the crab. The crab just jumped off the mountain, as you know, crabs do. This shell is covered in faces. Oh, there's a feces. So embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, can't you see the giant crab? Oh, can we only see? Can only we see spirits? The biggest threat to Momo so far: social embarrassment. Like she risked death by taking off the clothes because she was embarrassed on the train. Today we were finding out what is the true apex of the animal kingdom. I bet there's a lot of crabs that have eaten humans. Free sauna day. Oh wait, get it into the water! Cra wait, it's not boiling, so... How, what temperature do crabs boil at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're eating this crab. Just like Saitama, we're turning enemies into dinner. Oh, it's turning delicious. <laughs> Quick, somebody get one of those, like, cracking things. Don't let it go to waste. I call the face. <laughs> the creepy side face. That's the best part. Wait, where'd all the people go? They were murdered. Uh, they're, they're running. What the hell is happening? Yeah, this is horrifying. Oh, did like she curse everyone that she saw? She said she could do that. Oh, that's different. Okay. Yeah, somehow this is the most horrifying thing. Humans are always the most terrifying. Humans with something slightly wrong with them. We'll die for sure if you don't. Just trust me. You got this, Ken. Takaraka. This is so cool. Do it. This is such a great team. It's so amazing. And classical music. That's interesting. Gonna hit you with all the speed of the public domain. Oh, but like, Techno Remix. <laughs> cool, I love it. And she got like, Psychic Spider-Man too.
Something about that just shocked me into the realization that Momo's powers are kind of unlimited. And then the two of them together, there's so much potential. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, you're not finished, are you? You still have some juice, right? Oh, the train would be great. You can just like, hit, yeah, hit your ride. Spider webs. Right, that's not good, but you can still use your psychic stuff. Psychic rope on the train. There you go. Oh, giant hand wings. We're still not that far though. I thought they were gonna get on the train. That would have expedited things a little bit, perhaps. They're still running. They're still on their way. Oh. I mean, there's a lot going on. Trying out smart me. I hate tricky whippersnappers, but what I hate even more are punks that don't respect their elders. I've never seen a bitty bully kids like you do. Yeah, what is regret her backstory? I hate the sound of stupid words. There's a lot of things Granny hates. But she's jealous. Good. This is good. Granny crap. We're just dropping the B word all over the place. It doesn't really seem to matter since you can't count minutes. My power lets me reach out to anything. And grab it. Oh, we are taking the train, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. She was called the hundred kilometers an hour granny, but the Takasaki line. What is that in American? <laughs> They also have stations. My grandma said you wouldn't turn down a challenge, and she was dead on. Are we far enough yet? Okay, it's here. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Well, that's cool. You can see the barrier. There was no cheating here. The winner of this race is me. Momo is so good at trash talking. In the most heated, critical, terrifying moments. She still has emotional space for it. Don't tell me Turbo Granny was hot too. Can't take all these hot grannies. It's confusing me in a way I don't like. I never expect it. Do you feel a little bit sad? Uh, I don't know. Wait, did we see- Wait, what was that little transformation thing happening? Maybe my, I didn't understand completely. Oh, was it like souls being freed that she had stolen? There were like kids flying out of Granny's bubbles. We'll probably come back to it at some point. So how crazy is it that you've beaten, what, hundreds of years old, decades old, thousands of years old curse? I really didn't want to get rough with her. This place is where girls about your It's weird, right? They had some kindred stuff going on. Okay, okay, here it is. Here's a Demon Slayer treatment. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, that's what it was. Yikes. It's pretty, a pretty horrific way to end this story. She always showed up near the spirits of murdered girls, but we didn't know why. It's revenge, maybe. The dead shouldn't attack the living. Only way right. to help them move on is by force. S sad, though. Same kind of thing Sadder than I thought it would be. We shouldn't do stuff that disrespects the dead. Yeah, I think there's actually a real, like a non-metaphysical analogous idea. I think the real life equivalent of curses is, is something like, or some combination of unreconciled crimes of the past, because those things have very real effects that then proliferate out into the human life stream that can't necessarily be traced back to any one particular thing, but it's it's out there, it permeates there. And the, the closer you get to the source of that thing, the more directly you can perhaps feel that thing, which is maybe why there are locations that are cursed or certain specific things that are cursed, as well as very generally just elements of humanity, dark elements of humanity, that are somehow not being fully accounted for or kind of lurking beneath the surface but are able to pop up when there's no light you know when people are not paying attention or when certain things are allowed to fall through the cracks certain safeguards are removed and they suddenly emerge that is one possible way of reading it as well as the the respect thing it's when like you don't understand it or don't respect it or don't see it as a potential risk that it becomes more dangerous and can rear its head yeah we got the crabs hell yeah you've crossed the line Ken Takakura merch. You've crossed the line. How does Ken Takakura feel about Ten Kaku Takakura? Only losers don't have appetites when there's crab around. You jackass. Yeah, you jackass. You're way too bitchy for a guy. You the B word. <laughs> B word counter. I did. Oh, well, everyone. Yeah, okay. Everything's good then. Show me. What? You're kidding, right? Present them. <laughs> Miss Ayase, help! Do something! Wow. Ken Takaraka could just not escape Granny's chasing his weenie. His weenie's gonna get Grandma gobbled one way or the other, it seems. Uh, thanks for, you know, everything. Nah, no oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Maybe, yeah. Uh, 
I'm not showing it to you. Turbo Granny is dead, but Ken Talk Rockers Winnie is not safe. But this sucks. Now we, we have a reason to split up. Well, this is goodbye. Yeah. Are you not like sad? Oh, you gotta be sad, right? This is weird. We had this huge adventure together. Wait, is this goodbye? Well, there it is. Come on now. Or goodbye. Right. Goodbye? Oh, you... Or Goodbye. Come up with a reason. You need a common purpose. At least they're both thinking it. Why don't you think about this before you leave? Because it's hard to go back. Once you leave a situation, it gets harder and harder. There's momentum. Yeah, don't... Yeah, Momo did it. We gotta go after some more spirits and aliens and stuff. They're still out there. They're haunting people and stealing weenies. <laughs> nice. She's so good at this. She's so good at just like blasting through these situations. Consistently. She's just like blasted through that weirdness and awkwardness in the most pleasant way. That's really impressive. She did that last episode when they were having that little fight and he was going down that tunnel of like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so worthless, you must hate me, I'll like spare you the atrocity of having to be in my presence. And she just cut the whole thing with a joke. She's got a really good social awareness as well as like a really nice heart underneath it all. It's tough because I really think friendship has to get to a certain point where it's really cemented and you're like, oh, it's just natural that we're, we're best friends and we'll make effort to see each other. In fact, things are so great and so comfortable that it actually is an effort. It's the path of least resistance. But until you've gotten to that point of no return. You need to have like a natural way, a path of least resistance way, a force that pulls you together that is greater than the strain of having to unnaturally, effortfully make plans and shape the circumstances of your being together. And so it's really hard to like choose to be friends. That's why I think a lot of people struggle in adults to make meaningful friendships. It's not because they're incapable of it. It's not because there's some like part of your brain that's formative when you're young that's more conducive to friendships. Although, you know, maybe there's something to that, but I think that's not the biggest element of it. The real thing I think is just like the circumstances of people's lives. We don't have that sort of like rigid force to our location, you know, compared to school, it's like, you know, potentially two, four, six years every day having to go to the same place for nine hours a day. Because like, you don't need to think about the being together part. That part is taken care of by default. And so that creates the, the house in which friendship is built. One of the closest friendships that's most recent for me is someone with whom we share a very, very deeply connected hobby about which we're both passionate. So we're going to be doing those things anyway. It just makes so much sense naturally to do them together and that allowed a friendship to form. I think what they need, what would be really cool is for this to be the start of a purpose. Like, oh, we have this ability now suddenly. And that was actually kind of fun, all things considered. And we got crab legs out of it. And Momo's feeling like a badass. Like she's such a badass. She's giving finisher lines. We destroyed this very old, very dangerous curse that no one has been able to do before. We, we actually got something here. Why don't we do it again tomorrow?